my Vlad guide, and this video is going to be my Vlad guide, so I'm playing Vladimir against an initiation team because they do have an Amumu. Amumu is actually good for initiation and counter initiation, but Vlad's really good against counter initiation. We have Nunu as well, so Nunu is really good at that, at that too. So that's going to be interesting, but they do have a Cho'Gath that can silence me and rape me. And Vlad gets really beasted when he gets silenced. And so they have a... Okay, so I'm going to start with a very standard build. Boots, three potions. And whether or not what skill to start a level one depends on... What the fuck? Why do I have 46 magic resist? Oh, because I'm standing next to Straka. Aha. Uh -huh. I was wondering for a moment. I was like, oh, well, what kind of runes am I using? Holy shit. But now that I see, it's not too bad. And looking at my cooldown reduction, I know that I am using the correct page. I actually have 15% cooldown reduction due to my runes and masteries. So that's really good and awesome in general. And now if I uh, if we engage on them and see them, obviously I'm going to go pull first. Otherwise, I will go Q for lane. Let's pull. So, I haven't leveled a skill yet, and if I were to see them, then I will be leveling up my pool. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just stand in this rusher here, and just see in case they come or not. And if they do come, then I will be simply just running away and ghosting with my pool. That Actually, that was really scary in my part. But, I could stand here, though, because I have pool, so I can just ghost and run away. So I'm just looking around now, and if they do come at me, lols, Chugath can silence me and kill me, but otherwise, I will be able to get away with my pool. And this is actually really scary now. Oh shit, dude. So I'm actually going to start with Q. Oh my god, it's got raped right there. I lost like a billion HP. And I'm on this creep too. So very bad choice on my part. I'm already behind level 1. And this guy's doing an excellent job because Corky's actually really against, against Vlad. Really, really strong against Vlad actually. And you can see by him just shit zoning me. Well, as soon as my as soon as my creeps come, he can't do that anymore. Please, let it all out. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to just chug a potion. And he hits level two right as soon as we're about to go on him. That was actually very lucky on Corky's part. Because he didn't know that he was going to hit level 2, he just flashed over and he hit level 2 and he got away. So he definitely should have died there, but it's alright. I'm not actually not going to hit my creeps. I'm a, Since they have more creeps than me right here, I'm just going to let it push and he's going to lose the XP. But if I were to auto attack, he would have less creeps and it would do less damage. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to wait and make him lose the XP. Because this tank's worth a lot of XP, so what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to auto attack just a little bit now. Just so the creeps stay right in front of my tower. But it doesn't go to tower. So I'm going to keep this tank alive for now. And he just went back to heal. Now at the auto attack, because if my creeps go to tower, I'll be losing a lot of creeps. So I'm going to auto attack just enough so it basically can last hit at tower. I'm actually going to miss that creep right there. My goal is to hit every single creep once. Alright, now that every creep's damaged, I can just last hit at tower, hopefully. Oh, nope. Well, I did get 3 out of 5, so... 4 out of 5. I don't know, 4 out of 6. Which isn't too bad. So, there's just actually an art atlas sitting at tower. You really just want to damage every single creep. On Vlad, a lot of people last hit with Q, and that's not necessary. You can save your Q to just harass. You can save your Q just to harass and just last hit. But I'm actually going to use my Q right there because I'm actually low HP. Or not low HP, I'm just missing HP. So what I want to do is just cap myself off. And now my lane's really pushing. And what I want to do is just push this lane hard as possible. Because I want my creeps to go to his tower as soon as possible. So, 
uh, the tower can start last hitting. And I actually um, got 3 out of 4 right there, so that wasn't too bad. And actually, I'm not going to go over there because that's actually dangerous. Now, I need to be really careful on a Mumu Ganks because he is going to have red soon. So, my goal is just to constantly push this to his tower now. I'm going to auto attack and then I'm going to harass with Q. I'm going to last hit with my auto attacks. No! He fossil bombed me. There we go. My cup is half empty. I'm actually gonna harass him, so he actually misses that creep right there. And that actually took a little bit of damage, but it's okay. So notice how I'm only gonna last... Notice how I'm only gonna last hit with my auto... I mean, my right click and harass with my Q. That actually makes Vlad this laning really strong. As soon as he hits 5, he has this really strong laner. He can, um... Okay, so... Corky is... So Corky is uh, coming. I had to type that out. So I was missing a couple last hits here and there, but overall sh everything should be okay. I'm gonna auto attack just a little bit, so it doesn't push too hard to my tower. So as soon as it gets to my tower, I won't miss that many creeps, because the fewer creeps I have to handle or deal with, the easier it is to. Now I'm gonna start charging up my E because. Oh, I'm just gonna start charging up my E so it doesn't push. Okay, now the creeps are that he actually has more creeps than me now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it let him, let him lose EXP and let him lose creeps while I just farm because he's lo he's missing a ton of uh, creeps right now because I'm just zoning him out. Simply just zoning him out using some lane techniques, and he's just losing all of these creeps right here. He's losing the EXP, he's losing the gold, and the trick is actually to auto attack when the lane is pushing. So there's not too many creeps because if there's too many creeps, it'll push straight to the tower. But I'm just gonna let it have uh, just two creeps extra, and what it does is it pushes the lane, but it doesn't push it too hard. And I'm actually gonna last it with Q because I want to go higher HP now. And I'm actually not gonna cast Q anymore. I'm gonna wait a while and make him lose all these creeps here. So as soon as he gets back, he's gonna actually lose creeps. I'm not gonna even cast my Q until the very last moment. So notice how he's gonna lose all these creeps as he comes back. And he just lost a whole nother wave. And just simply use my Q to use my Q to heal up because I have no ganking power right now and I just need to heal up so I can actually play aggressive. I'm actually going to be ghosting over here now because he might die. There you go. <clears throat> and he's going to be able to go and cougar and get away, so I'm not too worried. I'm just going to go back middle and start to farm. So the Corky is just at a very dis disadvantaged stage right now. State. So I'm going to E right there and auto attack that once. And I actually lost two creeps out of three right there, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, my cooldowns wore down. And I'm just going to auto attack some and get the last hit there. Try to heal up. And I should be buying now. I sh I'm just going to push this and buy. Because I really need to buy items to lane against Corky now. I don't want him to be stronger than me in lane. I want to be a lot stronger than him. So it's a really good time to buy now. Um, I pushed my items really far. And I don't really need... Um, actually, I'm just going to go Boots and my Hex Techs. Because I really don't need my... Um, I really don't need the Spirit Visage this game until later. They definitely have all, all magic team. Corky basically is all magic early game until later. Then he starts auto attacking, doing a bunch of damage. Amumu is all magic. Uh, Swain's all magic. And Corky uh, or Shogat's basically tree damage and all magic. And Lux is all magic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a Force of Nature this game. And I'm just going to pick this off early so I don't miss it because that, that one's really important. Cool. 
And notice how I'm just zoning him out. And I'm just gonna use my Q to heal up because I want to go to full always. I always want to keep myself at full. And it's just nuking creeps down to stay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push the wave all the way to the base right here. But I'm gonna keep it in front of the tower. I'm gonna keep it in front of the tower so now I have more space to zone him out. There we go. I got every single last hit there. Now I can just zone him out. He's, he's missling to last hit, so I'm just going to keep the lanes even. And it's actually going to push now because I uh, casted E to way too much. But the good thing is I'm full and he's not. My cup is half empty. And he actually has boots level 1, so what that means is I can easily, easily, easily zone him out. I'm really taking advantage of my movement speed over, and I'm just constantly zoning him out. And notice how he has more creeps than me, so it's basically he's just going to lose more EXP. And I'm not going to last it to very, the very last moment. Lasting at the very last moment is very key, and I actually missed that, because I was too busy talking. But it's fine. He's just going to go for more missiles, and I'm just going to go for more harassment. I am going to get my Q off, because I've moved faster. And notice how he, he lowered all these creeps down, but he's going to lose it all. He missiles the whole wave, and he loses it all. He's gonna go try to go for another missile and he just gets one creep. And he misses, he gets one creep out of a whole wave. And what I'm gonna do is, since I have hex sex, I can just tank this. And I'm just gonna keep it right at my tower. Pull it back a little bit more and keep it at my tower. Just tank those creeps, keep it back at my tower. And just last at the very last moment now. And he's just gonna continue to lose waves. This is how strong Vlad is, so. Um, I'm just gonna wait, 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 wait. Oh, I actually missed that creep. I actually auto uh the wrong creep. So there you have it. He's going to lose these other three creeps as well. I'm actually going to start auto attacking a little bit now. And this one's actually damaged right here, so it's going to push. It's definitely just going to push. And he basically can only last hit when he missiles, and he doesn't really get them all as well, so... I'm just gonna zone him out, make him lose his tank, because his tank means a lot. He is dead, I believe. Wow, he survived. Okay. And if, even if Nunu ganks right now, Corky is too low to follow up, so I'm just gonna constantly heal up right now. And since he's back to base right now, it's a, it's a really good time for me to just push all the EXP to his tower. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna push all these creeps to his tower. Actually, I didn't react in time, so I had to waste my pull there, but what I'm doing is I'm just gonna push these, all these waves to his tower and make him lose all these creeps and gold now. So now he loses a lot of EXP and a lot of gold, and the tower, the, the lane is just going to reset. And the creeps are just going to reset back to the middle. And I'm going to be really careful not to push this, and I'm going to use my potion cap up. So now I have to just start to zone him once again. And it's actually pushing because the focus of the creeps, so I'm just going to queue at the very last moment. So I heal up. And he's actually pushing because um, I'm actually going to tank the missile this time. So he loses that tank. Now I can't zone him right now because I'm actually kind of low. And I have to just wait till I can start zoning him again. I'm actually going to leave these three creeps here and just tank it. Just so the creeps slow down when they get here. Um, don't notice how I do it. So, so notice how it's just on my side. I wasted a creep to have it on my side. But it's very minimal. And Corky's bottom right now. Corky is bottom, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this.
Because I see Corky bottom, I'm gonna push this tower, make him lose EXP, make him lose creeps. Since I see that Amumu coming, I'm just gonna back up. So there you go. Now I'm just gonna push this really hard. Constantly push it. And I'm back to full again. And just push this tower down because. And Corky's also gonna lose these gold and experience. So very simple landing with Vlad. Just playing it safe, farming. Oh, so Lux is coming. I'm gonna be really careful now. I'm gonna be really careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to base right now because it's not necessary for me to stay over here. And I'm, and I'm gonna watch out in case they tower dive me so I can just pull. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go straight death cap. Get some potions, get some wards. What I'm gonna do is sense that uh I have hundred and thirty three CS, so that's not that's not bad. Uh and the Corky has seventy seven CS, so Notice how, notice how the zoning took effect. I have 133 CS, that Corky has 78 CS, and this is a fairly high elo. I mean, I'm 2200 rating, so yeah. And I'm just gonna go middle, just... Okay, so I know that they're not gonna fight now. They're both... They're all low, they're gonna back. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to farm, and farm, and farm, and Vlad. Wow. So Lux is Shadow Beam, just kill him. Okay, now, oh, he warded for me, so thanks a lot. Since he warded for me, I'm not scared at all. I'm just gonna stay over here. So I actually end up killing uh three people actually died, so that was a really good trade on my part. Amumu died, Corky died, and Lux died, so uh it's a very good trade because I was uh, actually um I was actually O O. Oh. So what that meant was it's a really good trade. And um it's definitely not bad trading kills. I mean if you can kill them and get away it's better, but if you can just kill two people and just die at this point in the game, it's just really good. Because Vlad just snowballs and snowballs and gets stronger and stronger. So, yeah, that was definitely a good trick for me. And looking at my cooldown, I have 29% right now. Um, what I'm actually going to do is... Huh. I'm actually just going to go straight for... Go straight for Force of Nature, so... Uh, or I have two routes. I can go Force of Nature, or I can just stack HP and go uh, War Mogs. I mean, that both works. And this guy actually has five Heart of Golds. So that's insane. That's a lot of HP. And none of them have magic resist, so what that means is I don't really ne need to rush my void stuff too fast. So I'm just gonna just hang out and chill. And get farm. And I definitely need more HP though, so I can tank all of them. So I'm just gonna continue to farm. 
get some HP. And sooner or later I can 1v5. So it's gonna go back top. I've 145. Oh, I've had the most CS, so okay. Well, that's that's not really. Them. Oh! But I have 166 CS. Corky has 98, so I'm doing fairly well. It's gonna continue to farm. I have a ward right here. And he just did not expect me there because I went at the blind spot, so. I'm just gonna play safe and go back. Check on these wolves are here to see if I can have anything to heal off of, and I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'll, instead of going that route and risking uh, risk myself getting bandaged, I'm just gonna go back around and use my Q to heal up on creeps. And my ward is dead, so what I need to do is just go ward. And since that Moomoo is all the way middle, I can just go ward this brush. Oh, and they ward for me. Awesome. My teammates are awesome. So I still have two words that I have not used yet. And I'm just going to push really hard because I noticed that they're all bottom right now. So they're all bottom, chasing that nidalee. And what I'm going to do is they're pushing mid really hard. And we're just split pushing this nonstop. Because no champion can 1v1 Vlad at this point. Unless they're super farmed, of course. But... Uh, usually in mid game, no champion can usually 1v1 blood. I need to be careful now because if I get stunned in silence, I will die. So, since the, they came top, I'm just going to go push mid. Just harass the guy down. I actually pulled that stun because I got scared. So what they're doing now is they're just middle. And I'm just going to go back top and push it. Constantly just side push all day. Shoot my cube to heal up. And just constantly just push, 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 push. And while I'm pushing, I'm making sure to get all the last hits, of course. Because you don't want to push and just not get last hits. And I know that there's two people top, so I can definitely... Uh... He actually got really scared there, and he Valkyrie away. So Nidalee's constantly applying pressure, and Nidalee's very hard to 1v1 as well, so we have a really strong comp, we have a Nidalee, we have a Vlad, Nidalee can constantly pressure bottom without dying, and I can constantly pressure top without dying. So they can easily just 3-man Baron right now. They really have to engage on us really hard to kill us. So I have to be really careful now. I'm just gonna constantly heal up. And Italy actually gets bottom because they can't uh, defend our split push. Now I'm actually gonna go help them do Baron because it looks like oh they actually have it they have it, so that wasn't necessary. I'm just actually just gonna go back to buy now. And this Nidalee's not gonna die. So I will just go buy I'll just buy a Rylai's to be honest. I don't really need anything else. And I'm just gonna get my uh, Brill Pot. Now I have the HP to tank everything. And I have the AP. So I do a ton of damage right now. We should just push and end it. My empty. So that's all you do really on Vlad is you farm. I have like almost twice their CS on their team. There was not was, bandaging in wasn't really necessary on this movie's point because he's pretty much dead. Let it 
So that was a really bad ultimate part. I didn't really need it all there. Why are we pushing mid? There's no tower bottom. Let's push bottom. I'm definitely really strong right now. I'm just gonna constantly heal off creeps. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. There's actually so much heal because Nidalee's rocking heal me up and I just heal automatically. Oh my god, lasers! 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 Ah! Alright, there you have it. That's how you play fun. GG.